Extraordinary Life on Four Legs. You absolutely grabbed us at the start. You told a phenomenal story. I did not want you to stop. There were times when you told me that the dog is blind. I was like, oh my God, poor thing. You had us totally and completely engaged. I thought the stories were fabulous. They flowed. Uh, the story about the cats I thought was just hilarious. Mm -hmm. So let's t kind of take a look at what your goals were. Did you use words effectively and did you communicate your message to the author? audience in a clear, accurate, descriptive manner. I thought so. I thought you did a fabulous job. You used very descriptive words. You have a great vocabulary. You did a couple of times say fur instead of for. It seems to be a regional maybe thing. There were a couple of times that you were not crisp in your diction and you used a uh and um as a beginning and end to a lot of sentences. If you actually get up and speak out loud in front of an audience, your speech, I don't know if you did, but that should help clear up those pauses or at least get you to pause and not say anything. So that you don't be, there I say so, and start my sentence. <laughs> <laughs> you, won't, you won't start your sentences or end your sentences with an uh or an ah. Uh. Your love for this creature was absolutely astonishing. It's beautiful to see. I think you picked a really great subject. I absolutely did not want you to stop speaking. I want to make arrangements for coffee so we can stop swap dog <laughs> stories. <laughs> I have a few of my own. But it was an extraordinary speech and about an extraordinary creature. And I think you did a great job.